And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for a new brew. We got some an Is It Storm combo deck. Just kind of thinking today that, you know what, have, don't play too much Ral Storm Conduit. And whenever this card was previewed, every was, everybody was talking about the combo that Ral has with Expansion Explosion. And that's just something you don't really see in Standard at all. And so we're going to go ahead and give it a try. The... Uh, Ther or, uh, the new set, uh, Throne of Eldraine, Actually, not really, it's the newest set in Standard. It added some good cards here to the uh, Is It Colors, some good interaction and instants and sorceries with Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant, that like they count as, as two mana instants and sorceries that you can play them for as far as like Rowl and Expansion go. But then there are also threats that can end games, put uh, pressure on the opponent and everything like that. And we get Gadwick that gets to draw us a lot of cards, which is something we really want. So the combo here is, yeah, if, if you don't know what the combo is, so we need Ral in play. Okay, so Ral's in play. You don't have to, like, plus or minus. It doesn't matter. Ral just has to be in play. You have to have a spell on the stack that costs less than four mana. So it could be Opt, Shock, you know, Lava Coil. You can use Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant. You know, have all of those. We'll just say a Shock for the sake of... All right, so we have Shock on the stack. And then you need to expansion and copy the Shock. Um, and then you still hold priority and then you play a second expansion to copy the first expansion that lets you copy again. And so you, so you just copy a copy. And so you let that resolve. And now you have another expansion that you just copy the copy and you let that resolve and you just keep on copying the copy and you can just do that infinitely. The reason like normally that just wouldn't you know do anything. It's like, what are you doing? Like, that's just a waste of time. But the reason why that matters is because of Ral's, um, the uh, passive ability on Ral. Whenever you cast or copy, so whenever you copy an instant or sorcery, it deals one damage to the opponent. So each time you do that, it does one damage to the opponent until they die. So that's what we're trying to do here. So basically all we need is Ral in play, two expansions in hand, and then anything on the stack that we can copy them. Um, you know, we can play something, my opponent counters it, and then we just expansion, expansion, like the two, the counter spell. You know, you can, uh, it doesn't matter. We just have to have something on the stack to copy. All right. Um, so, yeah, like, that's basically what our what our deck's about. Uh, we have, um, you know, we got a couple negates, a couple lava coils. Our removal is, or sorry, a couple negates, a couple ionized for some counter magic. We got, you know, shock, lava, lava coil, bone crusher giant for removal, plus brazen borrower for bounce. Um, besides Gadwick drawing, I, you know, Chemist's Insight, sorry, for a little extra instant speed draw. And then I wanted to play Precognitive Perception. I wanted to try this card out because this can really dig you. Scry three and then draw three, especially if you cast it in your main phase. <clears throat> I was thinking that, like, Insight or even, like, Perception, if you if you copy it with Ral, you know, like, you can go, like, Ral minus two and then cast for cognitive perception and then scry, scry three draw three and then scry three draw three again that just seems amazing the problem with per playing perception over insight is that you don't get to expansion per perception where you could per uh, expansion insight but still perception just seems super powerful that so i wanted to give that a try sideboard we got some sweepers with flame sweep more removal with coil we got some more counter spells with a couple more with fill out the four negates a third ionize and two mystical disputes um ether gusts for the green and red decks and then against like the counter spell decks we got some niv mizzets that we can uh bring in from the sideboard okay so this is uh <clears throat> this is uh what we want to try so let's let's give this give us a try see how it goes is it storm combo? Yeah, I thought about playing a re repeated reverberation instead of like one of those uh, bigger card draw spells. Because that seems awesome with Ral to copy. Hey, what's up, Yud? You are here. I am not worrying anymore. That's awesome. Happy New Year. Yeah, the new, yeah, the new Red Sweeper would definitely be really good in this kind of deck. It would do damage to your Ral if you have that in play, but besides that, it would be awesome. All right, we'll just do some scrying. Sure. Is 
So this means we have an untapped third land, untapped fourth land, untapped fifth land. Or I could just play that right now to hold up negate, and I guess I'll do that. So I don't guess this is Esper. No oven. <laughs> the pupper was so happy with it. With that. No, they had a backup oven. Yuck. I don't know. Bone Crusher Giant's pretty good. It's good at just killing the opponent. <clears throat> yeah, I, I would think this has to be Esper. Right, they're going to have to sack some other creature to get that back. Well, they can turn the Gill Globe into a creature and sack the Gill Globe. That's exactly what they're doing. Must be built. Maybe it's not Esper. You know, that's two islands, two swamps. You know, like that's maybe it's just a blue black deck. Who knows? It's one of my favorite words. Well. It's a fun one to say. There's no way they bring the cat back again, is there? <clears throat> like, I want to play the temple here and hold up Ionize, but if they bring back the cat at end step, I could shock it again. No, I, I probably just don't shock it this time. So I can shock Karn. Shock the Karn. <laughs> I 
They're probably not going to name Ral Storm Conduit. Yeah. The castle. So I can explosion and draw two. That was a bummer when they had that second witch's oven. They have their witching well still. Get to draw they can draw a couple more cards. Gadwick is cool. I draw four, but then I don't have Ionize available for a turn. I'm gonna do it. All right, we got Ral. We got Explosion. in there. Gatwick can now um, keep like the witches oven tapped. This works pretty pretty well for us. So we'll just go round. We'll go bounce the oven. Deal one to Ugin. Events. Yeah, we need. Yeah, if we get one more ex expansion, then yeah, one more expansion for lethal. But then we'd also need. <clears throat> we need a spell on the stack. It's a double copy, but it's not too difficult to find us an instant or sorcery to put on the stack. Could let them resolve another Ugin, which is like the thing I'm worried about. That's a good sign. That's not Ugin. That's not Ugin. There's an expansion. All right, so if I play Borrower, Ionize Borrower, and then Expansion, Expansion, that would cost three, six. I'm one, one mana short for that. So we'll just tick up. If I could just distill lightning into a potion. Um, I did never sell. Sure. Just need an instant or sorcery on the stack. Yeah, they just gotta play. They just gotta place anything, and then we ionize it, and then we win. Uh, 
instincts. I really want to minus Ral and then cast this because I want to draw three, scry three, draw three, scry three. You know, do that twice. But we just shouldn't. Just keep keep up our we win the game and not do that and then they I don't know kill my Ral somehow. All right, that's game over. All right, I'm gonna hold it priority just in case, but I full, full control. But I don't think we need to. All right, so we're going to uh, shock here, and then trigger. Do that. Submit. Copy this. One there. Uh, yes. Submit. Copy the copy. You have to keep copying the first copy. Boom. Resolve. Now make sure you copy the first copy because the second one's just gone. One. Alright, I could probably get rid of the full control. Alright, we're going to get rid of full control. Copy the first copy. One. Copy the first copy. Take one. All right, we, you don't need full control anymore. Take one. Storm combo! We're storming off. Doesn't matter how much like life they gain with their little Calder Familiars, doesn't matter. They did. I can do this all day, bud. No, I don't have any Tor Brands in here. Just old fashioned. We got. Because we have Gadwick, you know, so we're, we're playing more blue than red because we're playing Gadwick. <laughs> Thanks for the cheers, Bert. The opponent's like, I'd never surrender. It's not, this isn't difficult. I'm making like two clicks. You know, it's just like one click, two click, one click, two click. But yeah, don't, not really risking injury or <laughs> the perfect response to the game. Yeah. Okay, and they die. <laughs> they couldn't take it. They couldn't take it. It just kills their will to play. The infinite storm combo just kills the will to play. I can't take it. <laughs> yeah, the opponent does not like getting pinged. Okay. Well, we'll just keep this. Have the Fabled Passage go get us an island for the opt. Oh, no, I did not think of this combo myself. No, this was this is a combo that... Uh, whenever this card was previewed in, during War of the Spark that everybody was talking about and talking about how it was going to be big and standard and everything, but people tried it at the time, but people don't really give it a try anymore. And I think that Throne of Eldraine actually gave this some really good stuff, like Gadwick, you know, Bone Crusher, Brazen Bar, where, like these are some awesome cards for this. Mm, let's opt. Yeah, I'll take an eye nice. All right, but now I want a fourth land. Cool. Yeah, our Dread Foretold deck was was a little off. We we made a lot of changes afterwards. We're gonna try it again tomorrow. We made some changes to it afterwards. Opponents like my spare PC at work. It doesn't respond well to ping. Hmm. 
They're just playing their innkeeper out here. Let me kill it. Does mean that I don't get to hold up I nines now, though. Uh, you don't get the combo. Basically. Hmm. Yeah, Gruul could definitely run us over. Uh, basically, we just keep copying. Like, we just have expansion, copy another expansion. And we keep just copying the spell that says copy. And we just do that over and over. And, when, and Ral says whenever you copy an instant or sorcery spell, it does one damage. And so we just have one expansion, copy another expansion. Over and over. And that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've definitely had expansion in mono red decks to be counter spells before. Hmm. I don't think we're winning this one. I wanted to row minus and use that twice. If I kill this 2 2 Paul Collector, the other one just turns into a 2 2. Doesn't really matter. That was my best draw. Keeps me barely alive. I can go to 1 and basically trade both of my Bone Crusher Giants for just the Pelt Collector. But now we could draw removal for the 1-1. One, one. Obviously those are the only blocks I can make because of the Castle Embereth. Yeah, yeah I, I know, Skip, but I just... with I still killed two things with the shock, and I just kind of had to do it then. All right, so Aether Gust <clears throat> coming in. Lava Coil, Flame Sweep. Um, we're going to trim a row. We're going to trim some, trim some brazen borrowers. Maybe trim two row. Probably could get rid of either insight or perception. Let's get rid of insight. All right. So this is 65. Uh, negate nine eyes are slow. Um, but obviously, Ember Cleave is a huge problem. But I still, I guess we could just keep Brazen Borrower and we just kind of bounce our way. Bounce and Gust.
This looks pretty good. Got to cut one card, though. Maybe it is the... Um, I guess maybe it's the third row. I don't know, Rel Minus can turn like Flame Sweep into an awesome card. Could have taken out like an expansion. I don't know, I kind of feel like I should play three Rels. Innkeeper bad. Innkeeper very, very bad. Expansion explosion. So they put the Fall Collector down at the bottom. We're going to be explosioning for two. If I had a land drop in hand, I knew I was going to be playing another land. I would cast Flame Sweep. Let's see what you got. You can bury your crimes, but your past always comes back. <clears throat> no, not really, LB. Not yet. It's un it's unnecessary. Ooh, they put Love Struck down to the bottom. Guild Mage, Planeswalker, Genius Inventor. I got it all. Minus, let's double opt. For every action, there's a reaction, and you are not gonna <clears throat> Yeah, the new the new giant is is really nice. Yeah, we go yeah, our deck goes infinite. Yep, I'll take a bone crusher giant, thank you. What else we got? Nope, I don't want that. Fail passage. This is a little annoying. I've scryed three cards I don't want to the bottom already. That's a little annoying. 
for fetching. Uh, it goes infinite with two expansions. You need you need two expan expansions. Like you need an expansion on a stack on the stack, and then have a have an expansion copy an expansion you just keep co copying the first expansion over and over and Ral does infinite damage to the opponent come on come on Yep. So you have to have you have to have a spell on the stack first for your for your first expansion to to copy to choose to copy, and then you have a second expansion copy that over and over. Well, flame sweep does two damage. Ceratops does is four toughness, so we can't have flame sweep kill Ceratops. Oh, you're saying that if I I just cast the flame sweep and then bone crusher giant, you're saying do both of those. I got you. Um. Cry. Draw five. Um, I, I just like like if I if I do that, then I'm out of. Get it. And yeah, I'll keep this. The problem with doing that is that then I am out of. Um, I'm out of instant instant speed removal if I would use both of my spells, and. I mean, Ral can just take that. It's fine. Ral isn't like vital or anything. I don't. I don't want to be out of instant speed removal, and they play a one-one, and then this Love Struck B starts attacking. Also. Yeah. The, you know, this is my first playing at Ron Burgundy, but honestly, this this combo does look better with Eldraine because of these three really important, awesome cards. Borrower, Bone Crusher, Giant, Gadwick. Those three cards seem to have made this a lot better. Starman! Welcome back for the Tier 3 sub! Y'all get a bunch of hype for Starman. Getting that Tier 3 sub in here. Thank you so much! So yeah, Starman, with the Tier 3 sub, you get a donation deck whenever you want. No expiration date there just whenever you want this just let me know but thank you so much That is awesome. Thank you, Starman. No, we need mana. This is not mana either. I mean, kind of. This hand's awesome, though. Yeah, this is my first uh, play in the deck. Yeah, I just just put it together today, but it it really feels like a real deck so far.
Kill that, kill that. Scry, keep the land. Alright, we're going to try the Kaya Doom deck that you've been trying out in Best of One. I'll link you the next couple of days. Awesome. Alright, well, yeah, thank you so much there, Starman. Um, I would like to play the Bone Crusher Giant here, but I think I need to keep these Aether Gusts and everything up. I mean, I don't even know if that's true. The I need to keep the Aether Gusts up and everything part of that statement. Bad Paradise Druids. <laughs> Yay, land. I get to play Bone Crusher Giant and have these other things available. block. So if I if I bounce Pelt Collector, then they can replay Pelt Collector. Yeah, that's fine. I like keeping Aether Gust for something scarier. Hmm. Get them bone crushers. <laughs> yeah, it's here. All right, we'll trade one. Got explosion for two. Currently, I can Bone Crusher and copy and kill the Questing Beast and then attack for seven. Or, so that's one That's one route, and then they're down to three, and I have the two creatures. And that, that's, basically, that's all I get to play. Uh, my other route is just let them trade and play Gadwick and draw three. And still have these, and they go down to seven. And we trade. Nah. Now we have, you know, the two lethal attackers, including the one in the air. Yeah. yeah, I know the game will automatically let me respond, 
but that doesn't mean I trust it. <laughs> that doesn't mean I trust it, so I still go in the full control. Because I don't know. Played a lot of arena. You never know. Like, just something weird happens. So you don't necessarily have to do that full control because it's supposed to stop and you just get to copy with the expansion, but yeah. All right, we're 2-0. That's pretty good that we beat a Gruul deck. Um, you know, with, like, is it that usually struggles against, like, the the fast... Um, like, the large, fast haste creatures. That was a pretty good win. Obviously, my opponent got stuck on two lands, but, I mean, I kept a one-lander also. And... Um, you know, won another game too. So not fetching first, because you know, if I if I fetch for island right now, then they have more information of their temple. They're like, okay, well, I'm against a blue deck. Then I want, you know, maybe I want this card, maybe I don't want this card. That's why it's good to wait until their end step. Oh, yeah. There we go. Wait, there was a time that Auto Tapper was random? And the closed beta. Yeah, I only I only started playing arena in the open beta. What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, and totally electrifying. That'd be cool if they just play like an ambusher here. No. Yeah, this is this is probably a poor matchup for us. They just have like some super impactful cards. And basically Nissa. Really? Just main deck either gust? Basically Nyssa. Ral, Ral turns a shock into five damage. You know, like if you go minus two Ral, that's why I kept the shock because it turns it into five damage. Boo. I will aid you. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Oh right. Yep. Odds of victory look good. Oh, right. I should have just triple shocked the Nissa. Should I have? Yeah, probably. I was thinking I was going to tap the temple. I don't get to tap the temple. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> Feel 
feel the fury of the tempest. Nissa, why do you have six loyalty? Why can't you have five? Oh, it is six? Oh, because the first cast, the cast and the copy, and then the two and the two. Uh, I, I missed the, the, the cast one. I was thinking like the two, the two, and the copy, but then also the cast. I missed that. Haha. -ha. We did it. We killed Nyssa with a shock. That's a lot of damage. The only reason to bounce that is that they have quench. That's what it seems like. I can spook him. Make them think that I really want this card on top. But in actuality, I don't. I'm shuffling away anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's a tough call whether ionizer or double shock. Or yeah, you know, I could lava coil plus shock, and they could have counter spell by then, and that's a mess. Why does Frill Mystic have to be a card? Why can't I have Ral with Negate Backup? They don't have any lands. They're just chilling with all spells over there. And so, like, if they just have a bunch of their really good spells like this, you know, like, they have they have three spells. Ambusher, Nyssa, Frill Mystic. If they have a whole bunch of those 12 cards, I'm in trouble. Like they can only have 12 total of those, and they've already played three of them now. Speed dragons, no question. All right, one rally in. Hopefully, they're out of Nissas and ambushers.
Yay. They're out of Nissas. Boo. <clears throat> All right, so that's the fifth out of 12 of their mythics. There are three mythics, Frill, Mystic, Ambusher, and Nyssa. That's three out of 12. Or that's five out of 12. Sorry, five out of 12. If we read them correctly before, it does seem like they have a quench in hand. No, they're mythics. Frilled mythic. Mythic pack ambusher. Oh, they had a negate in hand, not a quench. Okay, well, they, they had a two-mana counter spell. And then Nis Nissa who shakes the mythics. Like, those, those are their three... Vital cards. Holding this opt after a row is in play. I guess it does just get better for them. It just gets more likely that they draw counter spells. And so I guess waiting is not the thing to do. Oh, come on. Who would I rather kill? <clears throat> Borrower or Frilled Mystic? So that's six of their 12 in the top 20. That must be nice. Because Lava Coil kills Questing Beast. Dragonfire doesn't. Lava Coil can kill Ambusher also. <clears throat> Seven of their twelve.
We're still in a really good spot, though, because, you know, we have it. Um, expansion explosion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I guess I should have just done that during upkeep. I wanted to, to hit land drops, though. But I guess I could have done that during upkeep. And then tapped their Frill Mystic. I don't think they have instant speed 5 damage. This deck is sweet. Expansion Explosion, Gadwick, those cards are awesome. Alright, it's so more Ionize, more Dispute, more Niv Mizzet, more Negate, more Aether Gust. How do we cut cards? Do we cut Brazen Borrower? Like, Nissa's like the only good thing to bounce, I guess, right? I guess Ambusher is okay to bounce. But then, like, Borrower can block their Borrower. Alright, it's gone. I gotta cut something. Yeah, how do we even cut enough cards? Do we just cut Ral? Ral's like how I killed that Nissa though. Still gotta cut four more cards. I, mean, I think we should play like two lava coils. Hmm. All right, Rail's gone. Could just take out insight and perception. Perception's gone. I guess the coil. It'll be hard to kill this. Ambusher now, but we have. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be playing all these negates. I don't know. We'll kind of, you know, we'll be able to play this game here and see how it goes. Yeah, maybe I don't need four negates because of two of their mythics not being countered by negate. We don't have the infinite combo without Ral, but we also have Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet's pretty busted. Sweet. I'll take this hand. Yeah, negating that Nissa was really nice, though. Uh, I don't really have any specific, like one specific deck that I would necessarily use to, to climb ladder with right now. Seems pretty open. Seems like you can kind of play play what, what you want, play what you like. It's a good format when that's the case.
I don't I don't have a card actually right now that I'm the most excited for in the upcoming set. This is how it kind of usually is. I'm not It takes me a little bit to to move into you know really thinking about like the the new set a whole lot cuz you know I'm still still trying to um <clears throat> you know, still trying to like, you know, make new decks like this for this set and everything. Yeah, I wanted to keep them from ramping. And I wanted to ramp myself. Yeah, definitely going to do a set review whenever the whole set's out. Yep, we'll do that again. You know, 10 hours or so talking about every single card in the set. Some of them will get right, some of them will get wrong. Um, I was... Uh, I was very confident that Questing Beast and Oko were, were the two best cards in the set, and they were just ridiculous. Thought once upon a time uh, had that, you know, that was one that I wasn't exactly sure, but I, I thought it had, it was just looked really, really pushed and it had that ability to, that, to be pretty broken. The one thing I, I didn't realize how good the adventure creatures were and everything. I, I did underrate adventure creatures. <laughs> I know, such bold predictions. Hey, I was I was right about Gadwick. I talked about how Gadwick was awesome, and everybody else was like, "What Gadwick? I don't. This card's not any good. No, he's gonna play blue, blue, blue." I told y'all the Gadwick was was great. Everybody else was like, "There's Hydra Crisis. We're not gonna play that." I protect that which cannot protect itself. Harness. Elements. Do not test me. I'll do whatever I want. If Mizza looks pretty good here, not gonna lie. Stiv Mizza's looking pretty good. Alright, I'll just let them counter this. Doesn't really matter. I'm still killing the breeding pool anyway. Is expansion explosion lethal? Probably is, right? Yep. So we get to do four damage. This does a damage. That does four. I draw four. Each one of those, we get a ping with Niv Mizzets. So we do another four damage. So we get to do nine.
Dude, this deck is sweet. This could be the new rank up deck. We look really good against Simic Flash. Uh, especially with Niv Mizzets in the board. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think so, Matthew. <laughs> it, it's looking good. Is this just the better? Is it flash? It's like you know, it's just like is it flash with the combo finish, and also you get explosion that does draws you lots of cards. Um, I probably want ionize against island. We'll keep it. All right, another Simic Flash test. This game one is like crucial. Yeah, Cross Power is cool. Because I think if we can get, if we can steal game one, I like our chances with one of the post board games with Niv Mizzet. <clears throat> just about stealing game one. Which isn't necessarily easy to do. This is the game they have the advantage. Oh, cool, Genius Dan. Yeah, you used to play this combo before rotation. Yeah, I think it's actually probably better now. Gadwick, Brazen Borrower, and Bone Crusher Giant are three just amazing spells. <clears throat> Boo! Main deck dispute. Uh, I just played the temple this turn. Witness the ties that bind us all. The land fights for us. Do not assume I am fragile. Hmm. 
<clears throat> so the reason why I played the shock when I did is because I wanted to get like a quench or, or some kind of counter spell out of their hand. One damage. Draw one card. Cease this aggression. Yep, worth it. <clears throat> Get rid of that. Yay. Ooh. That's interesting. That could be a lot of damage. So Gadway cannot tap lands. It's like we can't tap this breeding pool. I'm actually just gonna trade with the breeding pool. Yeah, I'm gonna trade with the land. Breeding pool is a good land. Interesting. So I can do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ugh, so close. I'll describe. <laughs> Danger only makes field research more interesting. Legions ended a four four crisis. That is awesome. Uh, what's more satisfying than Legion's ending entire board of Nissa lands? That was the question. And Legion's ending four, four, ten, ten crises. <laughs> One person. Another person said. I am judge, jury, and executioner. Legion's ending, goat. Let's do six. Barrel. And they did. And they did. Alright, now it's about Niv-Mizzet. All right, let's go three negate. I don't know. Negate still seems pretty awesome. What did I cut last time? I cut Ral, Perception. I don't want to cut any of these cards. I think I cut Borrower. And then a Coil. We'll try that again. We're we're most vulnerable to night pack ambusher with this sideboard plan. Like early ambusher, we're vulnerable. 
But we're good in late games. And we're good against Nyssa. Now the borrowers are, are the main deck. We just sideboarded them out. But borrowers are main deck. Our hands fine. It's not like spectacular, but it's fine. <clears throat> and so I'll just play the Swift Water Cliffs. I didn't need to like scry something to the top right then. With your two tap lands, it's better to play the Gain Life one first and the scry one later. Hmm. I do need more lands, but I kind of. I'm tired of tap lands. Us having these the expansions to copy their growth spirals though in the other games, like that that was really nice that we were like able to keep up mana with them. This time we're on the draw, they have Paradise Druid into Growth Spiral, so they have tons of mana. This could be bad. Mm. Yeah, not liking where we're at in this game. Obviously. We will not fail. The land shall conquer you. For very obvious reasons. I don't like where we're at. basically can't beat any form of interaction. So I guess I play like they have no interaction because I'm, I'm just very close to being dead. Obviously, I can negate that, but then they just play the Nissa again, and and I'm in, I'm in peril. Crisis is definitely annoying. I mean, I guess I don't have to play four shocks. Shock is so good, though. I'll try playing two lava coil, two shock, and a row. Shock 
Shock helps me kill Nissa. Like, that's that's the thing. But so does Rao. Alright, we got more lands this time. And we're on the play. Hopefully they don't have, you know, Paradise Druid Grow Spiral and just turn 4 already playing a 4-4 four, four Krasis. I liked when we have expansion to copy Grow Spiral. That was pretty sweet. Crush, crush some bones. Crushing bones. Now it is up to them. They gotta act. Down to ten. So the reason why, I'd, like, I could cast Shock there and just use a little bit of my mana instead of wasting all of it. But I like them taking more damage thinking that they're safer than what they are. So I like not using Shock yet and them thinking, them thinking exactly that, that they're safe when they're not. sure exactly how they get out of this <sighs> yeah I think we got this I don't know how did how do they get out of this So now they can play like Hydroid Crisis. Still, I just either gust that. Drop that Bone Crusher Giant and on the play, and <clears throat> I got nothing there. Just did. <laughs> I gotta remember your trivia battles with boots. You fought boot hard. Oh, we're four zero. Good call. Final boss. Final boss time. Let's get this final boss playlist going. Let's go. 4-0. Oh.
Yeah, so, uh, you know, our first deck wasn't much, but then we beat Gruul, and then Simic Flash, then Simic Flash. Good showings there. That opt, like, kind of makes you want to keep it. Yeah, I think so. Like, Jund, the thing about Jund is they're not going to have as much answers for, like, your combo. But I don't know. You know, like, we haven't, we haven't faced them, so... Haven't really gotten a true feel for the matchup against Jund or against Fires. Is it better to bounce Trail of Crumbs or bounce the token? Probably the token, right? <laughs> Dang. That just kills my... That just kills my Brazen Borrower because of this Fable Passage, even. We got three of the four cards for combo. We need one more expansion. Then we need to untap with Rao. I'm kind of guessing they don't get they can't kill the Gadwick. Yep, there we go. bring actual thunder and lightning. All right, well, we got a backup opt so I can I can waste this opt here. Okay. So if we have, we get to, we can play two ops, and then we still have the mana to be able to kill them. We have to have, we have to have another expansion in the top four cards. This lightning strikes a lot more than twice. Top four cards. Come on, expansion. It's not expansion. It's going to the bottom. Expansion. Nope. Expansion. Oh. Dang, that could do a lot of damage. Just make sure this isn't lethal here first. So they're at 14. 
We're attacking them to 11. This does 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's only 6 damage right now. Could be more later, though. Oh, well, it still puts the bottom. Hmm. Well, darn, if I would have kept it. Wait, no, because it would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, man, if I would have kept it, we'd have been one short. I can't, I can't combo kill them this turn. Oh, we were one card short. All right, well, they're dead next turn. They're dead. As long as they don't kill Ral. I mean, even if they kill Ral, like, they're probably still dead. I guess if they kill Ral, they're not dead. They don't get to attack, because Gadwick's going to tap all of their things. I'm going to play the Brazen Borrower. Have a combo. <laughs> Playing the borrower also incentivizes them to kill the borrower, and which means maybe not kill Ral. I mean, it depends. Like they could have, they could have Mayhem Devil. Um, All right, I'm going to scry to get this up to six loyalty. Everyone complains to me about the weather. I mean, I have the mana to waste this lava coil first too. I guess I just, if they have Murderous Rider, I just respond and kill them. So yeah, they tap out, so now they die. I'm full controlling it, of course, like last time, just to start. Alright, I probably don't need a full control. That's probably a little ridiculous. All right, so you just copy the first copy. And you just keep on copying the copy and you just do infinite damage. Infinite damage. Ugh. That's right, I could just do, you get to do that whole combo at instant speed. So even if they had Murderous Rider, whenever they play Murderous Rider, we just empty them. <laughs> You're still never going to understand this combo? Each time we copy something, it, Ral does one damage. An expansion says copy, and then we have another expansion that copies the first one that says copy, and so you just keep on, you keep on copying. Because then... Because then you're left with a new expansion. And so you use that new expansion to copy the first expansion. And you're left with a new expansion. And you use that to copy the first expansion. And then you're left with a new expansion. And you see it just it never stops. All right, so coil in, ionize out, negate in, perception out.
negate in and inside out. All right, looks like we're going to try this and we're going to take inside out. Going to take inside out. Got faith in. Uh, wait. Nothing but faith in nothing. I don't know. I don't remember that song. Yeah, you, you can play a normal. Yes, yeah, so you can just. You can copy expansion a million times until your time your timer runs out if you want. If you don't have Rowan play. You can sit there and do that. So I got Ral, and I got one expansion and an opt. So I just need another expansion. And then they die if I untap with Ral. However, they get to interact, and I'm probably not untapping with Ral. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to put my tender heart in a blender. Watch it spin around to oblivion. That's right. That's the lyrics there for that song. Yuck. <laughs> Cracking that right now while like the two damage doesn't do a whole lot of damage to me. So if I play Ral, and then they kill Bone Crusher Giant, then they get to kill Ral for free, or I could play Gadwick. Gadwick's the safer play, but Rao's the higher upside. Like, we could win next turn if they don't kill Rao. They'd probably kill Rao, though. Let's get another body out here. <laughs> Jeez. Triple Mayhem Devil. Fable Passage. Wow. That's insane. That that obviously kills that, and then now they get to crack a food to kill the other Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, that's... That looks like game. Man, I have the combo, too. Oh, man, if I would have played Ral... I would have had combo, but they, they would have been able to kill me. Or they would have been able to kill Ral. Well, obviously, my only hope is that they just ignore Ral. I'm scrying this to the bottom no matter what it is. They didn't crack a food to kill my Bone Crusher Giant? You never know. Like, maybe they don't kill Rao. If I kept the card on top, I would represent strength, and so I didn't want to do that. So I put the card to the bottom no matter what. I want to represent a lot of weakness.
Attack me. No. No, attack me. I'm at 18. You're going to kill me next turn. No. I am playing pretty greedy here. Obviously, I could have just, you know, copied the coil and coiled another one. I am playing pretty greedy, I guess, to try to get this combo to work next turn. Same thing, scry to the bottom. Mayhem Devil's rough. That's why I got the four coils in here. <sighs> could play Ether Gust also, but I think that's probably enough. I mean, I could play Ether Gust instead of Borrower. Which I guess that could be better. Yeah, that's probably better than Borrower. Because Borrower is just going to die. Yeah, I guess we should play that over Borrower. Let's play nine eyes also. Yeah, let's take let's take out Borrower. Yeah, that was that was pretty beast. The the triple devil. Unfortunate. Goal's like one of my best cards, but I'm looking for land. Yeah, I did I did play that game very, very greedy. Potentially towards the end with like when I drew that coil. Put it down to the bottom. This is also the greedy play. Not killing the goose.
I've been through worse. One mana away from winning. How do I keep Ral alive and not use expansions? What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, and totally electrifying. indicate that that hurt. Dang. Mayhem Devils really cause a lot of problems. I mean, they just have... They have all their... You know, they have their... The entire package. Goose, Oven, Trail, Devil, um, and Familiar. Like, they got they got everything. Casualties doesn't work for me. It costs six mana. I can't. I can't expansion ca casualties. Are you? Just, if you're just talking about like the negate. We got five damage right now on Ral. I need to draw one of my eight one mana spells. I need to draw Aftershock. We haven't seen any of them yet. There's. Oh, bruised my ego too. Yeah. All right, so I still have Aftershock available. They can put Rao down to one. I remember. Pain hurts. So we have an eight out of forty-seven chance. About 16%. Oh, bruised my ego too. I wonder what the weather's like on Ixalan. Okay. Well. Uh, my only hope is they cast a non-creature spell. Which it doesn't look <clears throat> doesn't look very likely. This negate. If this negate was anything else, you know, like if it was bone, you know, the bone crusher giant that I had to put to the bottom. No, how how can I cast expansion? What what instant or sorcery spell am I am I targeting? That's that's the problem. Is I need I need a spell on the stack to target. Expansion to copy negate. What am I negating? I need my opponent to play a non-creature spell. I 
used my ego too. So still learning with the deck. Did play did play very greedy those two games. You know, like I played Rao there where I where I could have stomped the goose. Should have stomped the goose. Instead. But yeah, they, they had it all. That turn that I played Rao, they just unloaded a whole bunch of stuff that was just a nightmare. You know, playing Cauldron Familiar, Devil, and um, Witch's Oven just all together. That was just a nightmare. Only good against Edgewall Innkeeper. Not sure how I'm gonna be winning this one. Gadwick's gonna have to be awesome, but this teamer clover deck when they have Lucky Clover on the play, or not not on the play. Sorry, when they have Lucky Clover on turn two, that's what I meant to say. Into Beanstalk, it's tough. They don't have any more land. Which means they probably just are like sitting on like bone crusher giants and all that kind of stuff. How do I deal with Lucky Clover? This is my least favorite deck in standard, the one that we're playing against. As a lot of y'all know. Yeah, that was not an enjoyable game that I wanted to continue playing whatsoever. <clears throat> Shock, Coil. These cards aren't as valuable. I just need to play Disputes also. Why is that my least favorite deck? Because it's it's just a, a Throne of Eldraine pre-con deck of just all two-for-one creatures that somehow, I guess, the two-for-one creatures weren't good enough, so they had to print a one-mana card and a two-mana card that make them even more busted. And it's it's just a, just a lame pre pre-built deck. Put all the adventure cards together. It's just really boring. And play nothing but two for ones, and it's very, very powerful. I mean, it's super, super powerful. 
and I don't like it. Just much too pushed in my eyes. Just 63. The only thing to bounce is the clover. There's nothing else that we want to bounce. We don't want to bounce adventure creatures. Wait a minute, what am I what am I doing there? Yeah, good game. I mean a lot of it's it's beanstalk giant also now, like if they have the combination of clover, beanstalk giant. Okay. Not beanstalk giant. That's good. Dodged in a gate. You ever wonder why hurricanes don't have two eyes? <clears throat> well, we, we may win this next turn. It is possible. Yeah, it looks like they have Bone Crusher Giant. And they're dead. They tapped out. Should I say good game? Nah, that'd probably be rude. <laughs> Y'all are saying yes. Let's see if he's like the no. Make your dogs bark at him. I remember. Pain hurts. All right, I really don't need to hold full control. Turn five kills. Can we get game three, though? They can't have Lucky Clover turn two on game three also, right? They had it turn two game one and game two. You can't have a game three. You can't have it three games in a row. <laughs> it is faster than the cat triggers. Why not kill the 1-1 one -one while you're at it? Because we wouldn't actually kill the 1-1 one because -one the shock isn't going to resolve because the game's going to end before the shock resolves.
Oh, you're saying with the Rao, with the Rao trigger. Oh, yeah, Rao can't target creatures. We're gonna mulligan. All right, so do I put Niv-Mizzet back or do I keep Niv-Mizzet as my powerful thing that I'm going to go towards and put, like, Shock back? I think I'm going to keep Niv-Mizzet and put Shock back. Pass. Yay, no clover. I thought he was going to have three games in a row. That wouldn't be fair. Oh, no. Should have put Niv back. If they had the Beanstalk Giant, I was going to be expansioning it. That's what I was I was kind of hoping to ramp. Last turn. No. Not fair. They found it third game in a row. Not fair. He lands. Not a land. I need to land. All right, it'll do. It's the worst land. It's really unfortunate. Oh, we're dead. My least favorite deck. Yeah, good run. Um, I'm definitely really, really rusty on sideboarding, you know, with like kind of just trying something new. Um, very rusty on sideboarding. You know, need need some more practice. You know, like there, you know, like I took took out the lava coils, the bone crusher giants kill us. Um, you know, it turned out. Obviously, we don't know this at the time, but I put the I kept the Niv Mizzet to have like one big thing to to go towards and put back shock. But then we just draw the other Niv Mizzet. And if I would have just put back the Niv Mizzet, kept the shock, then we would have had shock plus Bone Crusher Giant to kill their first Bone Crusher Giant, and so on. Um, and that's that's a just a completely different game. And then they. Uh, you know, like that's just a completely different game there. Because <clears throat> then by the time they're playing their second... Because then they're probably holding on to their second Bone Crusher Giant to kill my first one. And by the time they play that, then I have, you know, like that more mana. And I would have had, you know, the expansions and, and the other shock and so on. So, you know, like, you know, lesson learned. You know, I wish I would have just put the niv Mizzet back and kept the shock. Um, obviously, I didn't know I was drawing another one. But yeah, 
this deck definitely felt very real, even though I lost those last two. It felt like I, you know, didn't necessarily sideboard perfectly, didn't play perfectly. You know, a lot of decisions. This isn't, you know, combo decks aren't normally my thing. And so, you know, I was put in different spots that I'm not usually in. And so just the more practice you get with it, the more uh, better decisions you can make overall. But it was fun to play. And it, it felt very real. It felt like a, a real deck and pretty powerful. All right, but that's it here for Is It Storm Combo. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, hit that like button over there and uh, let me know what you think of the deck. You know, leave those comments. Uh, you know, is there anything, uh, you know, try it out yourself. You know, let me know how it goes for you. Anything that I'm missing, like in the sideboard, um, anything that we need to change up in the main deck, should we take out the Chemister's Insight and Precognitive Perception, for example? Um, yeah, you know, leave, leave those comments. Let me know how it's going for you um, over on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching some Is It Storm Combo. And I'll see you for the next video.